Hi, this is a video for Trisha at All About Garage Doors from Eileen Fernandez Parker uh, showing you how to use the form that I shared with you. Right now I am the main owner of the uh, form and you are going to go to File and make a copy. I added you as a collaborator so this is what I see. It says that I am the owner and you can edit it but you want to be the owner so you're going to go to File, Make a Copy and when you do that, Google automatically calls it copy of. So you're going to erase that. And then you can either um, add a 2 here or a final. I'm going to add the number 2. And I hit OK. And now you can see up here, it's the same name, but there's a number 2 so that you know where you can find it. Okay. Now I'm going to go out. I have everything for All About Garage Doors in a folder named um, Robert Gatch. But I need to go back to my main drive so that I can see this new one. Okay, so here it is right now. This is one I was practicing with earlier. I'm going to delete these. Oh, I think I have to close them first. So I'll just leave them where they are. So here is the one that I'm working on right now. And what we're going to do is I just want to run over, run over a few important things for you. Um, over here, these are the main buttons that you're going to be using. So if you want to change your theme, um, the theme that we're using right now is this blue one because the blue matches the website beautifully so that was why I chose it but you can pick any theme that you want there aren't that many to choose from um, when you want to view the responses you just click on view responses and you're the only one who can um, see the responses as they are so here is a, a sample response and um, the next thing that you're going to do is I'm gonna go back notice I have multiple tabs opening up here, okay? So I'm going to close these out. And right now, this is a spreadsheet. And you should notice there are two different icons up here. This more solid green one is for a form. The one that looks like a grid is the spreadsheet. And uh, Google automatically names it, the, um, it names it with responses, okay? So um, that's what you're going to be working with. And... Um, what we have is, um, I wouldn't play with the accepting responses because you can shut down the responses so that people can no longer send responses. Uh, but here's your view live form. So when you click on that, this is what the guys on the field will actually see and any of the salespeople. Um, and then you can edit it right here. They won't see that, but you can edit it from here. If you click on this, though, if you notice at the top of my screen, another spreadsheet another form I mean is going to open up so now I have it open up twice it's not a problem because um, they both update no matter what you do but you just end up having an awful lot of um, spreadsheets open okay so um, what I want to show you now is that when you go back to your drive um, you'll see that the responses um, they show up in order so that they are if they are named the same thing with responses after it they're easy to find because they're right next to one another okay let me go back to here um, that should be all that you need to know to be able to use the form okay thank you